So Team STG, we actually got a really really special video for you guys and as you can see it's 7 minutes long so we're gonna actually have a nice discussion on this. This is something a lot of you guys have been asking me about and it is something that I really have been thinking about because 2K did announce that they're gonna be making 2K15 for not only next gen of obviously the PS4 and the Xbox One but also for the 360 and the PlayStation 3. They're making you know games for both generations of consoles and I really do respect them because they're making literally two video games in a year. Two video games in a year and I honestly do believe that next gen 2K15 is going to be insane. But nonetheless, there are a lot of people who can't afford or who just can't get the next gen systems for whatever reason they have and that's perfectly fine and that's why they're going to be getting the regular gen version 360 slash PS3 and that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine and 2K understands that. So first and foremost, we should thank 2K for even doing that for us because Yo, they can just be like many other games and just go straight to next gen, but they actually are making games for both systems and knowing 2K, they're going to make two completely different games just like they did. So we're going to be talking about what I think is going to be different about both systems, what to expect in my opinion. Nothing is official because we really don't know much about it, but I'm going to give you guys some, based on what we've seen so far, I'm going to give you guys some predictions. So in terms of game modes. We're going to have a My Career on both systems. We're also going to have a My Team on both systems. Now, the My Teams obviously are going to be maybe a little bit different from both systems, but nonetheless, there still will be pack openings. There still will be uh, will be VC currency, in my opinion. We'll have the basic necessities, in my opinion, of course. We'll have throwback players, I believe. Throwback players will also be in current gen. They'll be in next gen for sure, but I do think they'll be in current gen. Maybe not specific packs, but I do believe we'll be able to get both throwback players on both systems. Now, in terms of graphics, obviously the graphics are going to be a lot better in PS4, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be even better than what we're seeing right now. I think they're going to be better than what we are seeing right now, Team STG. But now, in terms of the Xbox, wow, look at that dunk. In terms of the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 graphics, I firmly believe that the graphics are not going to be super improved from last year's system, uh, last year's game for the 360. Because think about it, 2K has been maxing out their graphics. Now, of course, it will be slightly enhanced in my opinion. But if you're getting, you know, the game just for the graphics, don't count on getting the current gen just for the graphics because the graphics aren't going to be improved uh, dramatically all right you know on that next gen they will but on this system on 360 ps3 don't you know get the game just for the graphics gameplay gameplay is definitely going to be enhanced in both systems that's what they made sure they did you know 2k14 we saw block dunks we saw we saw a lot of brand new animations and a brand new gameplay system and whatnot even for the regular gen and i do think that's going to be improved as well of course more modifications will be improved on a higher level on the next gen systems but don't get me wrong the 360 ps3 versions will have improved gameplay stuff we've asked you know stuff the fans have asked i do think that 2k listened to it and they did progress them both on the system so you know if you're getting this uh, system for gameplay it'll be good and look at that dunk uh, gameplay will be uh you know optimized on both platforms now let's start talking about my career because this is definitely something a lot of you guys have been asking for now like i said I have no idea what they're doing, what they're going to be planning on doing, but my best guess is the, you know, my career on PS4 and Xbox One, they're going to, it's going to be revolutionary, it's going to be insane. We already know that they're getting multiple players for talking and whatnot. It's going to be insane and, you know, that, that deserves its own specific video. But for the current gen systems, I'm wondering how the my career is going to be. Last year we know we didn't have, you know, many cutscenes and, you know, no cutscenes at all compared to the cutscenes we've seen in 2K14 next gen. So so in my opinion, it's going to be improved. It's obviously going to be improved from last year, but just because the disc cannot handle that much, it can't handle all the stuff that the PS4 can. It is there. There might be some cutscenes. I do believe there will be some cutscenes. They did learn, and a lot of the fans really do want some cutscenes. So I do believe they will have some cutscenes. It just will not be as prestigious as the PS4 and the Xbox One. Like I said, that's just my opinion. They can completely make cutscenes. We have no idea what's going to happen now. This is something that I'm almost pretty certain and positive of. We're going to have, just like 360 did with their own Path to Greatness mode with LeBron James, I do feel like we're going to have our own, very own game mode on the Xbox 360 and the PS4, all, uh, PS3 only, related to Kevin Durant. Maybe something with Kevin Durant, the Path to Greatness, or whatever you want to call it, 
on the 360 slash PS3 featuring Kevin Durant, his own very own game mode. Also, the PS4 definitely will have something like that in my opinion as well, but I think it's going to be entirely different, right? 2K likes to do that. They're going to make something completely different, two complete game modes distinct to their own relative system. So I can definitely see that as well. Like I said, this is just predictions and whatnot, Team STG. There's so much to talk about, and I know this is something that a lot of you guys have been stressing. Uh, dedicated servers to current gen. Of course, they're always dedicated to next gen and whatnot, but I really do hope that they are dedicated to current gen because I know a lot of you guys still play current gen now, and a lot of you guys do want the. You guys, wow, look at that dunk! You guys want the dedicated servers, so I really do hope they touched on that, and if a lot of people, you know, do play the current gen, I really hope they will be having dedicated servers on both platforms, on next gen and on current gen. Now, I am almost certain that Parks will not be on the current gen systems. I believe Parks is coming back. I'm still not 100% sure. Maybe crew mode. I'm hoping for crew mode, but we're still not too sure. This is still a pretty early video, but I do feel like if Parks was included in next gen, it will not be in 2K15 for 360 and PS3 because it takes a lot of memory, Team ST. Not only does it take a lot of memory, the online servers are really insane for those systems and it really does take a whole bunch of everything, man. So I'm not going to count on that for current gen as you see that crazy block, but I do, cons obviously I can see a black top just like previous systems, maybe even that 5 on 5 black top they had too. But as, as far as parks goes where you can walk around and whatnot, you know, I'm not going to count on that. But Team STG, this is a very va vague video. I wanted to talk to you guys about my initial thoughts on what to expect for current gen and next gen. It was a relatively long video, but let me know in the comments down below, Team STG, what you are expecting from the differences of PS4 and Xbox 360, PS3, and of course the similarities. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.